Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are regulars here, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining. Today I have a jewelry piece to share with you from Cartier. Now I did post a photo of this piece when I first received it from my husband. A couple of months back, I posted it on my Instagram for those of you who follow me there, but I haven't had a chance to do a proper YouTube video, so I'm going to do a full review. And this is a review of the Trinity Wedding Band from Cartier. Now the Trinity Wedding Band is not to be mistaken with the Trinity ring. I know the names are very similar, but the Trinity ring has three interlocking bands, whereas this one here, as you can see, the Trinity band has three stacked bands, and there's no movement. They're all stuck together, very, very clean lines, minimalist, classic design. I was not eyeing this piece. In fact, I wasn't eyeing any jewelry pieces. When my husband asked me what other or what new jewelry piece I would like to add to my collection, I basically told him, no, I don't want or need anything at this point. I have plenty, so just don't worry about it. And he went ahead and just picked this out himself. I had never seen this before. The only Cartier piece I have before this one is my watch, which is about 15 years old. It's the only watch that I wear. It was a wedding gift for my parents when my husband and I got married 15 years ago. So it's interesting that these are both linked to my marriage because this was a wedding gift and this was an anniversary present. So at our 15 year wedding anniversary, my husband surprised me with this. And I love the symbol behind this ring because according to Cartier these three bands symbolize love friendship and fidelity which I think speaks volumes I think those are the three key ingredients that go into any long-lasting relationship right not to be corny but love friendship and fidelity and this design was actually created by Louis Cartier back in 1924 so this is a classic timeless piece that has lasted for many many years and this is the design that actually inspired the rest of the Trinity collection to be what it is today so I love that piece of history behind it there are three sizes or I should say three thicknesses that you can choose from. This is the thickest one. It's 4.8 millimeters. And then the one right below this is 3.5 millimeters. And then the skinniest of them all is 2.5 millimeters. Now I am really glad that my husband chose the thickest one because I do have these long sort of spidery fingers and I prefer thicker or slightly chunky rings that have a little bit more coverage. So today I'm wearing this pairing here, which I have worn pretty much every day for the past 15 years before receiving this ring. So this is my Mimi So engagement ring set in platinum and it is a solitaire round cut diamond in the center. Then right below it is my Tiffany's platinum wedding band with diamonds set all around. So let me just show you how this looks different with the Cartier ring paired with it. I actually am a huge fan of mixing metals. I'm not a very matchy matchy person. I love rose gold, I love white gold, platinum, platinum, all of it. So I think when I pair these two, it just brings a different sort of light to it because of the different shades of gold, as you can see. It has a different look. And I have been preferring this pairing recently maybe because this is a newer ring, but it's very comfortable. So since I received this in April, now it's what, May, June, July, it's been uh, about three months. And I will say in terms of wear and tear, there are some scratches. I don't know if you can see on camera. There are some minor hairline scratches, but I have to tell you, I do not baby any of my jewelry, whether it's designer, whether it's not, whether it's costume jewelry, I don't baby any of it. Even my watch here has hairline scratches. I feel like jewelry is meant to be worn and enjoyed and just you know, appreciated without kind of fussing and being so high maintenance. So it does not bother me that there are already scratches because that's what happens to any kind of hardware or metal. So there it is. I'm going to take this off. I will pair it with my Hermes rose gold uh, bangle just so you can see how it looks because if you are also a fan of mixing metals, I think it would be nice to just see how this looks together. So let me open this. And many of you have asked me for the color detail. 
of this bracelet in particular. I got this in Paris and at the time the sales associate brought it out from the back and said this is a new release, brand new color. And then I never saw it ever since. So I have no idea and I didn't bother to ask her what color it was. I just tried it on and I liked it so I bought it. So. For those of you who have been asking about this color, I'm sorry I don't have more information. It was a number of years ago as well. Um, it was probably three or four years ago, so it has been some time. But here, I just wanted to show you the rose gold with the Cartier mixed metals. I think that looks super fun. Super just, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like quiet, but also really pretty. I don't like it to be too, too loud. Um, I think it's just really classic and then let me show you without the stacking just so you can see it's a little bit more simple very clean lines there you have it now I am going to talk about the online ordering experience um, and I'll just be channeling my husband because he did mention that he was a little disappointed or I should say very disappointed when he got the box not so much with the ring but so let me show you this box tends to pop open on its own I don't know it's not doing it now but it tends to pop open on its own it's a little bit loose so he was kind of irritated by that I told you my husband is quite picky so these things bother him and then let me close this back up this is the shipping box that it came in looks pretty standard right this is the envelope with the paperwork it says here Cartier it's got some really thick hefty paperwork and then you have here this is the authenticity uh, certificate as well so just lots of materials that come with it and then you can see here it comes with this bag as well but it's quite dusty and it's not so much dust it's more like the residue from this um, shredded paper so he wasn't exactly pleased with that as well he was like you know for Cartier you would think see so much so he was like they definitely need to work on their packaging and then this doesn't seem so I know they're trying to protect the, the item and sort of cushion it but this doesn't seem very sort of luxury I do believe that if you go into the Cartier boutique you will get you know top-notch service uh, whenever I go in to get my watch serviced it's nothing but excellent customer service but the online ordering I think was just a little bit anticlimactic for him as he opened it to take a peek before gifting it to me he was kind of like mm, it's not you know it's dusty and it, the box is loose and all of that so I definitely wanted to mention that I think that if you can go shopping in the Cartier boutique uh, and get the servicing there and that whole experience probably nicer than ordering online but we didn't have much of a choice did we and we still don't have much of a choice as a lot of things are still closed or have reduced hours so he may do with what he could but I'm really pleased with this ring I think that it is just a classic I know that there is the more popular love ring for some reason that one doesn't speak to me I think the screws just they're not my personal style um, I know it's sort of strange to think of these things but for me when I look at the screws I think hmm I wonder if dust will get stuck in those little crevices and that starts to bug me and then I know for the love bracelet it looks beautiful on other people but I know that there is some maintenance there and there's screwing and you can't take it off easily and for me I, I like no fuss low maintenance whether it be my handbags or my jewelry uh, my clothes my whole wardrobe like this one here I'm going off track and talking about Hermes now but this is such a simple easy bracelet granted this is more costume jewelry versus versus like fine jewelry but again you see I even mix and match costume versus fine I do like to do that so let me put this back on just so I can show you and in terms of pricing if you're curious obviously you can go onto the website but the US prices so for this uh, thickness of the Trinity wedding band it is currently uh, $1,770 and then the one slightly slimmer is 1290 and then the skinniest one is 920 so that's going to be below a thousand dollars but it looks quite skinny so I don't know maybe if you have more petite hands and shorter fingers then the skinny one would be more proportionate again with my fingers being sort of gargantuan and quite lengthy I prefer the thicker one I actually wouldn't mind if it was even thicker but I think that with the stacking here with the um with my engagement ring it works really well it looks really balanced and it is quite comfortable now in terms of maintenance I plan to do absolutely nothing 
I don't know if that is blasphemous. I don't know if other Cartier jewelry owners do something specific. I have never, oh, not this one. I have never done anything special for my Cartier watch. I've only got it, gotten it serviced when the battery dies, like every five years or so. It's very low maintenance for me. So I don't plan to do anything. Let me see if I can give you a close up just to give you a look at some of the scratches here. I don't know if you can see. Yep, there's some scratches. I think at certain angles in the light you can see. But again, it does not bother me one bit, not in the slightest. I was, oh here, on the side. You're gonna see more scratches here because I'm stacking it mostly and the two metals are going to rub together. But honestly, who's staring at your ring this closely? Not even yourself, I don't think. So I'm really pleased with this ring. Um, it was a total surprise. I do not intend to purchase any Cartier jewelry, any other Cartier jewelry. I don't think my husband will get me any more Cartier jewelry. I've not indicated to him that I want any more. I'm kind of the type that once I have a piece that I really love, that's it. So this Cartier ring is is definitely doing it for me. My Cartier watch, like I said, 15 years and going strong. I love it still. I don't plan on getting any other watches. So I'm not going to go now go buy up a bunch of Cartier jewelry. Uh, that's just not my plan. So let me know what you think. Have you considered the Trinity wedding band before? Is this a new style for you? Like I said, it's been around for a really long time, but it never occurred to me to consider it. So I don't know if you're the same as me or if you've been eyeing this and you're very familiar with it. Um, but it is a keeper for sure. And, and the meaning behind it too. Aside from the symbolism that Cartier came up with, you know, the love, fidelity, and friendship, my husband said something really sweet when he gifted this to me. You know, because we were celebrating our 15 year anniversary, he said, each band seems to represent the five year chunks of our marriage. So the first five years, it was all about us getting to know each other as a married couple. The next five years, we were growing into our own as parents because then we started having babies. And then the last five years recently has been more about, you know, blossoming as a family, watching our children grow up, um, evolving as a couple as well. And he said in his anniversary card that the next five years, he's looking forward to, a, you know, a new chapter. Uh, more adventure, more growth, all of that. So I really think that this ring has a lot of meaning for me and the thought behind it. And I really appreciate it from my husband. Um, so if you're interested in this ring, I hope that it answered, this video answered many of your questions. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and let me know what you think. I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.